What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we're finally putting on my carbon fiber steering wheel. Um, I got the one that has the LED options. So um, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing we want to do is take off the steering wheel that's already in the car. And then we got to move all the parts over like uh, the buttons around here. Uh, move this piece over move this whole airbag over to the new steering wheel. We got to do some wiring I don't know how to do wiring, but I'm searching up online see if I can do it if not then We're without a car for a little while, but that's okay. I'm definitely gonna try it Let's go ahead start pulling this stuff off and then get it onto the new wheel So finally got the airbag out it took me a long time Actually, it took me about 30 minutes because I really don't know what I was pushing on it took me some time, but now that I got it done, I'm gonna rip off the rest of the stuff on the steering wheel and hopefully get it inside so I can start working on it. And before you do anything with this airbag, make sure you disconnect the battery. Otherwise, you could take an airbag to the face and I don't think that's gonna be too pretty. So make sure you disconnect it and uh, you should be good. Got the airbag off. So now it's looking like this. So finally got the steering wheel off. Now I'm just gonna run inside. See, this is where I wish I could use a garage, but that Corvette's dead, and uh, it won't start right now, so I need to use the outside. I'm gonna run inside, start working on the new steering wheel. So, it's been a few hours. I My camera's battery actually died, so I had to completely drop everything, let it charge, let it charge, and then come back to it. But, little update, we've had some good progress overall. I went ahead and took everything out of the old steering wheel. Uh, even took this apart because I needed to get these these wires out because I no longer have a steering wheel warmer. So this is the stock one and it's completely just gutted. And now we have everything basically getting moved over to the new one. Uh, everything's still in pieces, but I'm gonna slowly start putting it in. And then once we get that done, I'm gonna wire it up to the car's harness and we should be good. Okay, so I got everything wired together. Yeah, it's gonna take it to the car now and plug it in, see if it works. We're finally back in the car, and as you can see, there's just wires everywhere because I had to wire in these wires, I had to wire the power wire in, and um, it's gonna be the moment of truth now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. So let me put the car in accessory mode, that way we know. And then I think we need to plug in this wire first. Just like that. And then, so this is the main power wire. This is the moment of truth. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Come on. Okay, one, two, three. Let's go! I really thought I messed up. I really thought I messed up because the wire cutters that I got did not work. The wires were actually too small for the wire cutters, so I had to sit there with a the blade and like chip away uh, at the wire until I got the wires exposed. But now, hey, it's working. So now at this point, I think just put everything back in and then definitely take the car for a drive and see how this thing actually performs. I still need to plug in the OBD2 port reader and the Bluetooth little connector, put that stuff away, but that's not bad at all. That's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, so let us let me do that real quick. I'll show you guys me putting back in the airbag and stuff like that, and then we'll get to uh, drive. Okay, by far, this is the coolest thing that I've done, and I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was, but it really wasn't. Uh, if you take your time on the wiring, there's uh, a few videos out there that can help you. I'm, hoping the one I put out after this uh, will help. Uh, so you won't see a lot of that detailed information about putting this all together in this video, but I'm gonna drop another video next week which is gonna be a lot more detailed. It's gonna talk about where each wire goes, how I did it, uh, what I used. Uh, but for this one, I'm glad it, this thing came out so nice. So this is how it looks with everything back in. As you can see, I have the carbon down here. This is the old carbon that came off the other steering wheel, this is the old carbon, but it just all mixes in super well. And I've been waiting to do this for so long. Whew, mm. satisfying. So let's go ahead and start the car, see how it is. 
Oh, battery's unplugged. Nice. Okay, second time's a charm. Uh, why isn't it working? Uh, hello? Um, I'm so confused. Oh, I think I know what it is. I'm hoping that this is what it is. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, I didn't plug in the OBD2 port reader and stuff yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and see if that's the reason why it's not lighting up. Um, I'm hoping that it is. Let's go inside, grab that stuff, and and connect it all up. So I got it plugged in. Uh, right now I'm just sitting on the floor. I haven't, I don't know where I'm gonna put it just yet. So let's go ahead, start the car. See, now it's working. Uh, let's see, how do we change this stuff? So, Oh wow, are you even talking how much gas you have? Yeah, I'm low on gas. 13%. What does this mean? Okay, how do I change it to miles per hour? So it seems like it's working. Okay, well, that's good news. I'm really not sure if I set up everything properly in terms of the LEDs. Um, I'm still probably gonna finagle around with it once I actually start driving on a regular basis with this. Um, and then obviously you can even adjust when you want the LEDs to turn on. So right now I mentioned that I have them set up so that the first light turns on at 1500 RPMs. You can have it set up so that it doesn't turn on until 3000 if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but for me, I, I bought it for the LEDs. I want to see them, especially right now. I'm super excited. So I'm going to keep them on as much as possible. And I want to mess around with the rest of the settings. I thought it was supposed to be that if you turn on the blinker, it, it went off. But it's not working right now. So I'll keep messing around with it and see how it is. But for right now, let's go for a quick drive. I want to show you guys how this looks and have some fun. See right here, it says LED T, which I'm guessing means turn. Um, and then LED W, I don't know what that means, but this is what it's doing right now. So I thought that's what it meant. Like it was supposed to be a turning signal, but I'm really not sure. So I'm, I think I'm gonna have to mess around with it a little bit more and figure it out, but let's go for the drive. So you can see nothing's on right now. I'm just waiting for traffic to pass and then we'll get on it. Okay, so nothing's on. So right now we're around 1500 RPMs, only one's on. Ooh, that is so cool. That is so cool. horsepower to this car. The car feels a little bit faster. <laughs> so I still want to know why the turn signal thing isn't working. Um, and what else? There was one other option. I think the blinker? No, that's not it either. So 
I'm not sure. I want to I want to get that to work so that when I turn on my blinker, this lights up as well. This lights lights up as well. But dude, overall, this thing is clean. I'm so happy with this. Like I am beyond happy. So overall, super hyped with this mod. Um, I'm so glad I did. It was a little bit pricey, but at the end of the day, like I'm in love with it and I'm so glad that I ordered it and actually installed it. I'm so happy with how it came out. The LEDs look insane. The, the steering wheel overall looks insane inside the car and it's a great little accent piece to the rest of the carbon fiber. But I'm gonna be posting a few photos on my Instagram, so feel free to go there and check those out. They're gonna be photos of the steering wheel as well as some new photos that I've been taking. So go ahead and follow me there. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Uh, I think 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to me, so go ahead and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next thing that's coming up for this car. I think it might be the roof uh, wrap or something else, if something else comes up, but we'll see. Uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.